Previously on the GTA Liberty City Stories. Shake your ass, watch yourself. Shake your ass, show me what you're working with. Shake your ass. You ungrateful bitch, I'll knock you into next week if I hear another word from you. Oh, that's right, big dick. What are you gonna do, hate me? Why are you on Tony, I know what you did, and no one is more grateful than me, honestly. Tony? Where the hell have you been? Don't help me, I'm gonna have some fun today, even if it kills you. I just need to finish getting ready. Eh, screw it, I'm gorgeous. Come on, Tony! Hey, Tony, que pasa, huh? Give us a hug. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're sticky. So when you need something, give Vincenzo a call down at Atlantic Key. I got girls crazy for blow. I got a car full of it parked in Trent. Go pick it up, give me a call. Hey, Tony, how's the car? You son of a bitch, Vinny, you set me up. Fuck you, Vinny! Fuck that car, boy. We're starting right back off where we left off in the last video. We just got done crushing Vincenzo piece of shit loser hey, big car. face car. So let's head up to Salvatore's to get some more work. Our first mission of the day is titled Frighteners. And basically Sal tells us we're starting to gain a little bit of momentum with this union problem we were dealing with in the last video. But a couple of the big shot union guys still need a little bit of convincing. So it's time to put feet to concrete and let's get out there and bust some fucking heads. I pulled up on the first union boss, pimped out in the Skylar mobile. All you had to do was hit their car like one or two times and they would just get out. But I accidentally Fuck. ran over the first guy, so uh, let's head to somebody else. I had a little obstacle I had to jump over on the second dude. When I pulled up on this man, he started shooting at my ass. How the fuck am I supposed to convince him to follow us if he's just gonna shoot me and kill me? I'm guessing little dude ran out of bullets, so after a quick beating, he was finally convinced. And now it was time to head on to the third union douchebag. Man, these union bosses are stubborn as a motherfucker. I had to hit this dude's car like 20 times to get him to get out. Finally, after I rammed him from the back a few what? more times, we intimidated. I, I mean, convinced convinced the final union boss to join our side. We unlocked the outfit called the Avenging Angel, so I'm about to head back to that apartment. I'm getting sick of wearing these dirty ass clothes. Ooh, this shit tough. You like a Vietnam War vet or something, Tony? I hadn't paid her a visit in a while, so I figured, hey, why not? Let's pay a visit to our loving mom. Look at you. You look so thin. If you were still living here with your mother, like a son good. Right. For some reason, his mom wants us to race this dude named Grease huh? Sucho. I don't fucking know. What the hell does it have to do with her loving this man as a son? Doesn't matter. I'm going to kick that ass anyways. Oh, and look at this. So we got a white piece of shit, red piece of shit, and... Uh, I guess that guy's car back there is okay. And we were off. The other guy spent most of the race looking at my damn rear bumper until halfway through the race, my fucking controller died. As soon as I got my controller situation in order, I zoomed past all those other pieces of shit right back into my rightfully deserved spot in first place. And we finished the race, and I don't know why, but for some reason, every time this man Tony does a mission oh, for his mom, it unleashes some sort of inner rage for him, and he has to kill whoever his mom thinks is better. Ran the side of his car, and Brett didn't even try to keep dry. He just gave up and started running down the street so i decided to hop in the driver's seat and ran that nigga over and that's another mission done for me loving ma tony you gotta stop seeing her she brings out the worst <laughs> to you. next on the agenda i figured i'd pay a visit to I get a call from an unknown voice telling me that if I ain't a bitch, I'ma get down to the street race. And you know I ain't never been that. I was in first place the whole freaking race until the last three seconds I fucking misflicked the left stick and swerved out. It's the game's fault, bro. Driving controls are a little wonky. Something with the coding, something with the tuning. They didn't get it right. Ah, they just messed up my chance to win. Eh, whatever, let's go do another mission. It had been a whole two weeks since I rejuvenated myself with Maria. I figured I stop by and check in and see how she's doing. And as soon as I walk in, I was immediately reminded why I stopped seeing this hoe. She put herself up as a first place prize in a street race and she wants me to race in it to get her. She is so fucking lucky that Salvatore is my boss because I would have been put a bullet in this bitch. When I got there, I already knew this was gonna be an easy W. Look at what the fuck these niggas are riding. I got a whole damn Yakuza bike and these niggas riding Sanchez and shit. We started the race and these boys was actually giving me a little competition this time. I was going through the uh, radio stations and I heard my fucking song, boy. Oh, oh, the dog, nigga. And at the last second, the buzzer beater finished race. What's the great?
Oh, wait. Ah, uh, damn. The first prize is Maria. Come on, Maria. Let's go. Well, finally. <laughs> Mr. Tough Guy makes his move. Look, Maria, you're Salvatore's girl. I'm my own girl. You're such a goddamn square. Come on, Wayne. Let's party. Man, Tony, please never talk to this bitch again in your life, bro. A few inches later. Uh, what the hell are you brother? doing in my car, you freaking weirdo? Get out of here. It's always a fucking scene with this bitch, man. I get to her apartment, and she's over here crying and shit. Tony walks over to her. He's like, what's wrong? What's wrong, Maria? What's wrong? And she got fucking smacked. She got the shit smacked out of her by that damn Wayne dude that we seen after the race. And of course, who does she want to go deal with it? I mean, I fucking have to now. It's a fucking requirement. You're my damn boss's girl. I love I hate you, you stupid bitch. Wayne can be found with his gang in Chinatown. Go over the- Hey, yo. Hey, yo. The fuck are you looking oh, at, no. little nigga? I pulled up to Chinatown on Wayne and his friends, and for some reason, this nigga's really, trying to nigga? fix his motorcycle with a micro Uzi? I try to confront this nigga Wayne and, you know, get him to pay me or apologize or something. And tell me why this nigga was the only one of the dudes standing in the circle that had a weapon, and he was the first one to hop on his bike and run away. After a pitiful Circus assassination income? attempt, I chased down Wayne, killed him, and I want that shotgun, boy. I come back to this bitch apartment, and now she's fucking high as shit. This has got to be it, Tony. This has got to be the last time you hang out with this hoe, man. This shit is getting ridiculous. Every time I come over here, something else with this bitch. Anyway, she's high as hell, and she starts telling Tony that she needs a zap. I don't know what that is. I'm going to have to look this up. But she tells Tony she needs a zap and that she left it downtown, and she needs him to take her to it. Like, why are you doing favors for her, man? It ain't even like Salvatore asked him to do it. He just wanted to. Give me that bike, little nigga. We pulled up to the first location, but her stuff wasn't even there. Bruh. This is where that dead ass Wayne dude and his loser friends used to hang out. Yo, this hoe trying to get me fucking killed or some shit, man. We gotta get the fuck out of here. I couldn't take any more Maria missions for the moment, so I decided to go visit Mima. Tony pulled up expecting love and affection. And all he got was a lecture about how he wasn't a real man again. His ma says that that Casa dude stopped paying protection money after Tony took the picture of him. This is the worst mother of all time. Basically, she just tells Tony she don't love him no more and she don't want to talk to him. And at the end, she says he wishes he had Casa's guts. And Tony says, okay, ma, you want me to have Casa's guts? Okay. Swing by Giovanni Casa's deli and persuade him to take a little road trip with you? Hi, Tony. How you doing? What's up? You and me are gonna talk, Casa. Oh no. Oh, that's not good. Uh, where, where are we going? I would also like to know the same thing. We still cool, ain't we, Tony? Yeah, we're all still friends here. We're all still cool, right, Tony? I'll get you the money, I owe. Honest. He'll get you the money, Tony. Don't worry. You know Casa's good for it. He just needs a little bit more to- I I'll vouch- I'll personally vouch for him, Tony. Just charge him a few percent of it. Like a spicy you're making it worse, dumbass. Yeah, you're uh, We can talk about this, right, Tony? Yeah, yeah, talking is good. People just don't talk enough these days, Tony. Stand there and shut your yap, Casa. Yeah, okay, Tony, but I don't feel comfortable. Hey, easy with that, Tony. It's, it's the on switch for the... No! Special sausage meat delivery? No one told me about this. Whoa! Which zoo did we knock off this time? There's loads of meat back here. Mmm, tasty. Okay, I'll take them. It's a good thing Casa ain't here. If he finds out about this, he'll go crazy. Yeah, let's never speak of this again. Next, I headed back to Salvatore and risked my eyesight once again. The next mission we had for Salvatore was called Roller Coaster Ride. Basically, this is the pinnacle of the fight with the Union. The Union bitches on the fucking radio running her mouth talking that shit. Well, Salvatore tells me he wants me to deliver a message. So now we're tasked with pulling up to the radio station and we're gonna show her what for. When I get there, we have to take out the driver and we officially have access. We're now face to face with the boss 
of the union. Oh wait, we were face to face with her before. Oh yeah, she fucking scammed my ass. Basically, all we have to do is take her for a little roller coaster ride around town. We gotta wreck into shit, go at high speeds, do stunts. We just gotta scare the shit out of her so she finally joins our side. After some thorough convincing, finally Hopper said she'll do whatever we want. We now had to take Hopper to the ferry station picket line and we can end this fucking battle, man. I ran through these losers sitting at the front and it looks like Hopper finally decided to wisen up. Aw, damn it. Why don't you wear this dumbass outfit? After our union troubles were quelled, I decided to visit me loving mother again. Wonder if she had any of that uh special sausage. Once again, I come to my mom's house looking for love and compassion. And she calls a fucking hit on this man. Shit, at least she fucking told him out of this time. Unlike another mom that I know. The hitmen weren't too hard to deal with. There was just so many fucking waves of them. I swear there was at least like five or six of them bitches. Ooh, give me that AK-47, boy. I only had two missions, so it was either between Maria or Salvatore. And I'm not going to see Maria. This mission called Contraband. Salvatore needs me to go pick up some of our boys to bring in this shipment coming in. Salvatore starts speaking very highly of Tony in this cutscene, and I'm starting to think we finna get made. I had to go cop a four seater so we could pick up these dudes. I had to go cop a four seater so we could pick up these dudes. I had to go cop a four seater so we could pick up these dudes. I had to go cop a four seater so we so we could pick up these dudes. I had to go cop a four seater so we could pick up these dudes. I had to go cop a four seater so we could pick up these dudes. I had to go cop a four seater so we could pick up these dudes. I had to go cop a four seater so we could pick up these dudes. Before I left, I noticed that this man Salvatore's house has like the only open interior in the game. I know some designer was probably pissed he had to stay overtime to design this shit. I don't know when, but for some reason, the cops climbed up the hill to try to arrest me. The fuck out of the way, little nigga. General Purpose Gang member number one, welcome to the call. General Purpose Gang member number two, say hello to General Purpose Gang member number one. We're about to go pick up General Purpose Gang member number three. And General Purpose Thug number three, let's go. We got things to do, man. Damn, boy, these stank ass niggas. Out here still protesting? I thought that shit was over with. Didn't we just intimidate the union boss? The drug deal starts off going smooth. We're talking to this dude named Miguel, and everything is going all right. But then the fucking cops show up again, man. Ow, 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 Jesus. Gotta go over here and get this damn armor. Shit, now we had to get the truck and get the fuck up out of there. Whole damn police force is about to come down on this bitch. I abandoned all three of those common thugs, and I had to take the drug car to a pay and spray. After losing the police, we drove the car back to Salvatore's lockup, and we are officially done with his mission for now and I gotta go back and see Maria hey Tony it's JD I hear it all over you're headed for big things I just hope you don't go forget your old pal JD when you get to the top right hey drop by sometime okay buddy Oh shit, I should go do the J- Ah, shit! Well, JD gave us a call, but I figured Maria's missions were almost done, so I'm gonna go over to her and sh uh, fucking finish this shit. God damn. While I was running down the street, look whose house I was running past. Screw you, you old hag! Please, the Lord, let this be over. Blah, 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 blah. Come on, let's just get back to where we were before. Okay, this time, I'm not even getting out the car. Let's just go to the other location. We get to the other location, and she says the drugs aren't there either. Now she's saying that she has a stash back in her apartment and for some reason these Stop biker with the dudes are still fucking chasing me around town bro like give it a rest my nigga i took maria back to her apartment really, and then nigga? she says they're not there either they're at Salvatore's place. I would delete this video before I do another mission for her. We drop her off at Salvatore's and she starts asking Tony for money. And Tony's like, I ain't got no fucking money. I'm broke as hell. She starts talking about how she don't want Tony to hit on her no more because he ain't got no money and Salvatore's loaded. Like, I was never into you. I was coming over as a favor to the boss. I wasn't fucking with you. All right, we still had that JD mission, so I'm gonna go ahead and head over to him now. This one's called Salvatore's Salvation. When we get to the back door, this man JD is freaking out again. How many times is this man gonna have a fucking anxiety attack every time I come try to talk to him he's babbling on and on about some shit Tony doesn't know what he's talking about and Tony's like yo what the hell is good with you bro why are you doing this and JD finally tells Tony somebody came and fucking kidnapped this man Salvatore so let's go shit we gotta go save the fucking Don for some reason the dude that kidnapped Salvatore was right outside the huh? building still so we gotta follow the car back to where the people are hiding and Give we can try to get Salvatore out of there yo this man JD is the worst club owner ever bro how many times has this man Salvatore gotten in 
into some fucking trouble being at this dude's club. I followed them through downtown listening to this bumping soundtrack. We finally made it back to their hideout and <laughs> what the hell? They got this nigga Salvatore looking like a fool. <laughs> Get up, old nigga. See, this game always try to be like, you got caught, but there's no fucking stealth in this shit. So how am I supposed to fucking not get caught? Anyways, I shot down those dudes, but there was apparently Stupid. somebody I'm in the car and they try to get away with this motherfucker Salvatore. Now, normally in this game, you could catch the enemies in the car within a couple of seconds, but that motherfucker in the blue shit took off down the freaking road, man. I didn't even catch up with them until we ended up at the junkyard. And I literally saved this man Salvatore with like 0.5 seconds of his life. That boy was finna turn into an Italian pancake. Anyways, we rescue Sal. I take him back to his place and he tells Tony that he could call him Sal now. He don't even gotta call him Mr. Leone no more, bro. That's how you know we in there with this mob shit. JD's still the only nigga I got on the map, so we just gotta go do his missions again. This time, this motherfucker not even at the back door. This nigga give me a little ring-a-ding and tell me that Salvatore's planning on coming down to the club and killing every Shindako in sight. He's still angry over the fact that they kidnapped his ass and he wants repercussions for that shit. Shit, I'm with you. I should head down there myself. Fuck it. I don't mind killing a few Sindakos. JD tells Tony he left the sniper for him on the rooftop across the street, so we gotta go over there and try to protect Salvatore. I head across the street and oh look the Sendako's looking at a dollar. I start my sniper campaign to prove that I'm the best mafia sniper of all time. Sendako after Sendako, I'm picking them off. No misses. All the 100% shot actors. The cops were starting to tag up Sal a little bit, so I was like, man, screw the sniper rifle. Let me just try to take these dudes out with the SMG. Finally, Sal made it in this club safely, and that's another JD mission done with no failure. Still the only nigga we could get missions from, so when I pulled up, JD told me that somebody's trying to broker peace between the families apparently one of the people that's trying to broker peace is up at salvatore's mansion right now but salvatore said he smells a rat he wants me to go up there wait you know what i was thinking about why the fuck is jd the one that's giving me orders like nigga and i higher than jd why is he the one passing out these commands anyways we gotta go up to salvatore's mansion and we gotta follow this dude to I'll sniff out this piece of rat. I get up to Sal's mansion and this Freddy Mercury ad dude is leaving in this helicopter. The game informs us we have to follow him, so let's hop back on the fag. Hey, this nigga's name is Massimo. Oh hell no. The helicopter lands downtown to talk to these dudes and they're meeting with Welcome Big Smoke's mom. Nah, I'm just playing. We hear little bits and pieces of the conversation, but it sounds like he's trying to set these gangs up to fight each other or something. He says something in another language and then tells the Diablos that if they do it, whatever he's asking, that the turf will belong to them. After he gets done telling him this, he hops back in his helicopter and I gotta follow him again to the next location. He pulls up to Chinatown and lands on a rooftop this time. Tony sneaks up there and he's talking to the triads. When Tony's eavesdropping on the conversation, I don't know if he's telling him to try to kill Sal or if he's trying to get me killed, but he says if he keeps the Leones tied down at Portland, when his associates take over the city, the triads will be well rewarded. This nigga Tony is the worst hider ever and they catch this man. So now I gotta take them all out anyways. The information don't even matter. I dealt with the triads on the rooftop and I head downstairs to, god damn, there's like motherfucking 20 of them down here. Packed them up and you know I blasted this nigga away with the shotgun. This mission's titled The Made Man and yes, I'm finally getting made. But the ceremony's not for Tony, it's for JD. JD's getting made and uh... Yeah, we gotta take JD to the ceremony and some random dude named Mickey is waiting for us in the car. Mickey tells us the ceremony is in hardwood and <sighs> fuck, what did JD do to deserve this? this is great. Yeah, 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 it is, it is. Oh really, you did? Yeah, well, they had the right idea. You don't let a little thing like that get in the way. Unfortunately. Okay, no. Oh shit! Oh no, I hope they don't hit JD. After we dealt with those dumbasses, it was finally time for JD's ceremony. Uh, you know, uh, you know what? I guess I'm happy for him. You know, JD, me and you, we've been cool for a while now. And I wanted to let you know that. Hey, the guy was a fucking rat. He screwed over his own boss. This scratch yard. 
Salvatore could never have trusted that motherfucker. Damn, no. What did he do? Was he really a rat? Damn, rest in peace, my nigga JD. After JD was made, this random Mickey dude tells me to take him back to his apartment. Why the fuck am I still listening and taking orders from this nigga, bro? I don't even know who this is. This random nigga in this ugly ass purple suit. He tells Tony after he drops him off at home that he needs to dump the car in a river. So, like the bitch Tony is, he drops him off at home. And I remember there's a river over actually by the junkyard so i guess i'm headed back over there rest in peace my nigga jd all right guys i hope you enjoyed the video for today if you liked it you can hey it's me vincenzo oh what the hell do you want someone to pick up your laundry or wipe your ass oh come on no don't be like that listen i feel bad about everything come on drop by my place i got something for you yeah what's that a pair of concrete boots nice slice of arsenic pie about it. No, come on. Oh, and I feel bad about what went down. Salvatore heard about it and told me we both need to grow up. This is me growing up. I'm sorry. Come on. Vincenzo wants to start new, huh? Finally, he's come to his senses. He knows who the big boss around here is now. I've been putting in work for Sal. I cussed him out on the phone. So he knows his place now. He wants to make nice. You know, I'm, I'm a man of peace. I'm a man of the people. So let's go visit Vincenzo and, you know, let's try to broker this out. Let's try to act like brothers. Now we can start the mission for Vinny called the Portland Chainsaw Masquerade. Oh, hell no. I should have known this man Vincenzo was about to do some funny shit. I don't not fuck with this mission title Vinny calls tony and tells him that he has a big shipment waiting in the ship he needs tony to come down to the ship's hole and for some reason tony agrees to do it i'm not even trusting this man vincenzo no more bro i done seen the fucking mission title already y'all seen it as soon as i get on the boat some weird shit starts happening bro I made my way down the hallway, but I found this neat little revolver to the right. I picked up the revolver, and I figured, you know what? This should pack enough of a punch. I headed down into the ship's hole. As soon as I walk in there, somebody closes the fucking door behind me. He has a freaking chainsaw in his hand. This man Vincenzo sent like 20 of his fucking goons to try to kill this man Tony with them chainsaws. I told your ass, Tony. I told you not to trust this man Vincenzo. You seen the mission title. Why would you still come down here? We dealt with all of those chainsaw bozos, and finally, who walks out to reveal him? Ben Chinzo, the fucking devil himself, finally revealing his betrayal. He finally tells Tony his motives. Basically, Vincenzo was mad that Tony came back and was taking his place in the mob family. But I told you, bro, you're not fucking putting in no work. I've been out here doing missions since day one, and what have you been doing? Getting sucked off while you're talking to your mommy on the phone, bro. You can't be mad at me because you don't got no motion, little nigga. Anyways, that's the reason why Vincenzo's been trying to set Tony up and kill him this whole time. He was jealous of him. You made me do this! Tony has emerged from the boat victorious. His grand battle with Vinny finally over. Now I ain't even got no missions under my belt. Is the game over? Tony, it's Salvatore. We got big trouble. Get your ass over here. Now she might hurt me. She pretty, but fuck it. That little help here and I love it. I fuck this hoe on the feet with his budget. Still way too big for the touch. Slime me and I'm on my 